Jay Bischoffer. Dallas Cowboys were fined $100,000 and head coach Mike McCarthy was fined 50K for live contact violations during OTAs per the Star-Telegram. They obtained a letter sent by the NFL to the Cowboys detailing the violations from a May 27th practice for basically getting too physical. The NFL didn't like the intensity and tempo of the Cowboys' interior line pay and pass coverage during 11 on 11 drills where players were clearly engaged in physical contests. The league contends all the physical and excessive contact resulted in players being taken to the ground. The league also reminded the Cowboys that coaches are urged to remove overly enthusiastic players from the field for individual instruction as part of OTA rules. The Cowboys will be forced to forfeit one OTA practice during the first week of them next offseason. And two other teams are also fined for OTA violations. The 49ers $100,000 and head coach Kyle Shanahan 50 k The Jaguars were fined 200 grand, while head coach Urban Meyer will pony up 100 k Jacksonville will also have to forfeit two OTA practices during the first week next offseason. Alma Heights quarterback James Sobey is looking to have a great senior campaign. He's got big goals for the Mules and for himself. Last season, he passed for 844 yards with five touchdowns. He rushed for 497 with six TDs and a long of 77. He was also named Code District Offensive Most Valuable Player. Sobey is going through the summer grind with the help of QB coach Yale Vinoy as he gets ready to lead the Mules offense. My summer's been really good so far. Been going really hard in the weight room and a bunch of speed trainers and then coming out here two three times a week has been really helpful for my throwing and for my receiver that I bring with me. Alamo Heights won seven and three overall last season advancing to the second round of the playoffs. They won district 15 5 a 2 going to perfect 5 and 0 and that's not easy because that district is very tough. So we wants to have a big season and help the mules repeat as district champs. It's really important. Last season, I didn't have the season that I wanted to. Had a couple injuries, and then our offense just wasn't where it needed to be. But this year, I think we're going to come back super strong and ready to go. Dave Campbell's Texas football predicts Alamo Heights will finish second in district this season behind Bernie Champion. Astros at the Indians for game one of a four-game series. Cleveland fans are booing Jose Altuve, and he renders them silent with his grand slam to left to give Houston the lead 5-2. His fifth career slam measured 394 feet. Skipper Dusty Baker said that was tremendous lift for them. Astros win 7-2. Take you to Oakland for the Rangers and A's. Fifth inning, the Rangers' Joey Gallo tags a two-run bomb to right field. 4 to nothing, Rangers. That's he's homer in five straight games, which is the longest in the majors this season and tied for the second in Rangers history. Gallo went three for three with a walk and three RBI, and the Rangers take it eight to three. Going back to the Cowboys, man, I love me some Cowboys, but that energy, they need to save it for, save the, it for the season. season. <laughs> My goodness. Thank I got you, Larry. you. Thank you, Larry. Well, roller skating, summer toys, 4th of July fun, and grilling. A little bit of everything on SA Live today. I hear there's a little magic, too. Hey, Jen and Fiona. You know what the magic is? If we don't fall right now, okay? Take a look at our feed. We are rolling into yes. the 4th of July weekend, stop. right? Yes, we are. We're taking you to a San Antonio landmark that's been around since the 50s where you can have lots of family fun indoors, by the way. I know. Fiona's so good at this. We can't stop moving. Okay. Okay. And, of course, Tim Hicks from Learning Express Toys and Gifts is here to show you a collection of toys to help keep your family cool and having fun this summer. Wait till you see what happens. One of the SA Live team members <laughs> missed the meeting and is gonna get soaked today. Yes, Find awesome. out who that is. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you want some DIY decor. Go this way! <laughs> Some great ideas for us. Yes, yeah, so you're just gonna grab a little crate, fill it with all kinds of fireworks, cracker jacks, anything Fourth of July related, and just give it out to the kids to have a lot of fun. I love that. Okay, then we better go back this way because I have world champion <laughs> street magician Keith Fields is here, and you're gonna show us a quick trick. Right? I've got, well, I'm gonna show you with my highly trained mouse. Is a very highly trained mouse, and he's gonna do. Hang on a second. I, I, I don't. I don't. Sorry, see, sir. I don't see a mouse. Uh, it won't be a problem. We just won't need this, will we? Oh. <laughs> It's going to get weirder, folks, I tell you that Whoa. right now. <laughs> and not just because we're on skates, okay? <laughs> but we'll have all that and much more coming up when SA Live continues you in just a few minutes. Whoa! <laughs> Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV.
Imagine you're out tubing on the Kamal River, very relaxed, and then you see a snake dangling over your head. <laughs> well, that's exactly what happened to some people recently, only the reptile was fortunately fake. Well, no thank you with the snakes for me. The prank was posted on TikTok over the weekend and gained a lot of attention. In the videos, the teens recording can be heard laughing at their That's victims. So mean. We have a link to the clips right now on KSAT.com. If you need a little laugh today, just look for this article. Goodness. That is not very nice. All right, this weekend, scattered showers and storms will be around. We will keep you updated. Just keep that KSAT weather app nearby, guys. Thank you, Katie. Well, that's all for our show well, for now. Alicia, always a pleasure. And make sure you tune into KSAT.com for more information. Joining us now, SA Live, and that starts right, right now. now. 4th of July grilling. We've got tips and tricks to upgrade your backyard barbecue. Plus, dance like no one's watching. We visit a judgment-free zone where you and the family can bust a move and get fit. And a brand new season of Texas Eats is about to begin. You're getting a sneak peek. A special SA Live is about to begin. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> Happy Friday. That is our fabulous photographer, Dusty. And you know, this isn't his first rodeo, right? <laughs> First time on that, maybe, but not his first rodeo. And there's a reason he's wearing swim trunks because, you know, he missed the meeting today. Mm -hmm, You're going to find out why. Today. And we have some fun with some water toys <laughs> a little later on. Oh, yes. Happy Fourth of July weekend. We've got tons of ideas to make it a great one with your family. I'm Fiona Gorsiza. I'm Jen Tobias Jeske in for Mike Osterhage. And so many people will be grilling this weekend, maybe throwing on some burgers and hot dogs, but do you have a favorite? That is our question today. Yes, between the two, do you prefer burgers or hot dogs for 4th of July? What's better? Now for me, I'll prefer hot dog if you've got all the fixings yes. there, if you've got yes. chili, if you've got relish, mm. then I'm gonna go with mm. the hot dogs. That what about really you? That sounds really good, and cheese too, right? Mm. I always go with the burgers. It's my favorite thing. Just a good burger, cheese, mustard, and pickles. That's it. That's it? Yeah, that's all yeah. I need. So we're gonna see how this <laughs> shakes down. So let us know at SA Live KSAT on Hungry. Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> And you may see that a little later in the show. So 4th of July, it's an extra long weekend for all of us. So there's more time for more fun. And one thing you can do is take in a show, maybe a magic show, huh? Yes, and this world champion street magician doesn't just perform magic, he invents it and teaches tricks to magicians all over the world. And you know, we won't hold it against him that he's British putting on a show <laughs> on Independence Day, right? <laughs> Keith Bills joins us now to give us a sneak peek. I have to about sneak peeks. I was looking at some of those photographs. I mean, I'm not saying I've changed recently, but... Um, I had hair back then. What's going on? Wow. What's going on? You've been digging yes. through the internet finding yeah. pictures of me. So what is street magic? It just sounds like it's got a lot of cred. It has. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I think I'm a bit old to be doing street magic, really. But I started out as a street entertainer, and I think magic is, is, is something which is sort of very, has to be experienced. And yeah. it's kind of weird watching on TV. But I'll give you an example, because uh, this is like an observation test. And the yeah. great thing is you can all play along at home. Uh, I've got some playing cards here, and all you have to do is memorize the cards. Okay? <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've got okay. those, you got got those? Yeah. I'm going to be asking some questions, and it's very, very important. So first question, first question to you, if you don't okay. mind. Okay. Your staff of a ten. Okay. Okay. First question, how many cards have I got? Five. That's good. Round of applause. Too late. We don't <laughs> need pity. Next question. Your question for you. Question for you. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is the back of the cards. I'm looking at the face. What's printed on the face of the cards? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Oh, did you? You, you obviously missed the uh, ace of spades oh. then. But uh, no, wow. everyone's al everyone's allowed one mistake. That's why they put erases on the end of pencils. <laughs> I can't say that in English. Now, this, <laughs> this is important. What what color at the back of the cards? Uh, I think it was. Was it black? No, 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 no. no. Uh, well, they were red, but they're now uh, blue. we've now got a blue back oil flux, so I'm not quite sure what's going on here. But okay. obviously, wow. obviously, you're not paying enough attention yeah, no. for that. No. I'll try something easier. I'll try something easier. Okay. It may be something you understand. You understand these things. You examined these before. These are just ordinary bits we of did. rope, yeah? yes? Okay, yes. fantastic. I want you to watch these ropes very carefully because this is an illusion. Because the ropes look like they're different lengths. That looks like a medium sized rope. That looks like a short rope. This one looks like a huge, great big long rope, but this is an illusion. Okay. No, they're really all the same length. No. Yes. <laughs> so, moving on for my next trick. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I shall unwind the illusion. Okay. I don't worry. I shall unwind the illusion because people don't... If I fold the ropes in half, you notice the ends of the ropes, just by folding them in half, the ends of the ropes are already starting to look the same length. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. If I could do the middles, I wouldn't be in San Antonio. I'd be in Vegas, wouldn't I? <laughs> but 
Yeah. If I fold the bottom middle up, now we've got three middles there, three ends there, three ends there. They look the same length. Mm -hmm. So far. Yeah. Yes. Oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I should practice. <laughs> uh, but the weird thing is they really are the same length. Now, people tend to not believe me, but I have got, there's one end, there's one, there's two, oh there's gosh. three ropes, all exactly the same length. But that's not the good bit. The good bit okay. is the next bit, and I have to give you a warning. The next bit is okay. a bit scary. I'm scared. Okay. You should be. I did this a couple. Are you, I, seriously, you I did this. Your way I know. I know. I did this a couple of weeks ago, and a woman ran off screaming. I wouldn't have minded, but I was in Kroger at the time. Yeah. She left her shopping and two children behind. Oh my goodness. No, well, they're still in my car. I don't know what to do with them. I've left the window cracked open. I'm not a monster. But watch the ropes. You're going to see them change back on the count of three. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to go one, two, do it, and then say three. That would be cheating. Okay. I'm not going to say one, two, three, and then do it. That would be wrong. Okay. It's going to happen on three. Don't take your eyes off the ropes. Here we go. There's oh, scared. one. I don't know why you're scared. It's just a rope trick. <laughs> there's two. Get ready. It's about to happen. And there's three ropes. A short one. What? A oh medium-sized one. And, of course, the huge, great, big, long one. I thank you. Yes, the crowd went wild, but I controlled them. Thank you very much. Yes. How did you get in? Magic. How do I get yes. into magic? Well, same way as I get into my clothes. I just put one on. <laughs> um, I started off doing it, literally, I started off as a street entertainer because I could do a couple of tricks. And I went onto the streets and I started doing magic and, and I kept passing the hat around at the end and people kept putting money in my hat. <laughs> and I thought, I've got to get a bigger hat. And um, yeah, that's how it all started, literally working just on the streets like out here. And uh, it progressed from there to working comedy clubs mm -hmm. and cruise ships and all sorts of stuff. And now, and now this. San Antonio, <laughs> the Magician's Agency Theatre, which which is right opposite the Alamo. Perfect. And, I, I don't know mm -hmm. if you know this, you can get a discount on the tickets just by putting SA Live in. This is, oh. sh I shouldn't mention that, but it's, it's a magic trick. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> oh, but there, I'm there this week, uh, this <laughs> weekend and next yep. weekend having lots of fun. So come down and join us. Yes. It's going to be Tonight great. Tonight is the first live performance and in the information is on the First live performance screen. in a year. Mm -hmm. I haven't done in a live a show for over goodness. a year. I'm so just so if you want to find out how the magic's done, come tonight because I'll be making mistakes and you'll be able to see how it's done. SALive.com for more information. Keith, thank you so much. Such a good time. Thank you very much. Well, if you're looking to roll into the holiday weekend with some air-conditioned fun, mm -hmm. air-conditioned <laughs> dry fun, <laughs> there might be some storms, all right? A San Antonio landmark is all about skating. Yes, the Rollercade has been in business since the 1950s with generations learning and having fun with skating, maybe some bruised knees, but some great music and always a great time. Take a look. A fun place that's air conditioned to take the kids this summer. We have just the place, the Rollercade. Lots of history here. I have Vincent joining me now to tell me more, and I'm slowly moving. Bear with me. I haven't skated in 20 years, Vincent. So You're tell me great. about this place, <clears throat> the history. Well, <laughs> this place was started in 1959. Uh -huh. It's been serving San Antonio for 61 years. We've had 61 so years. many generations of uh, kids, and uh, <laughs> it's family fun. Yes. Like where else can you go with your family that? You know, has this atmosphere right, right. where you can dance, yes. you can skate, you can play. Yes. Yeah, so. All of the above. I'm gonna fall. I miss my 13 year old self. I used so, to be good, I promise. Okay. So we're gonna see if you can rock your feet. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can feel the burn. Yep, it's a better beat for it. Wait, oh. Uh -huh. I'm gonna fall. This place must mean a lot to your family then. And then to, to see all these different generations, like we have this team around us practicing, mm -hmm. um, but this is something you can do any age really, right? That's right. Yeah, I have students that range anywhere from the uh, 10 uh -huh. on up to okay. uh, in the 70s actually. I've got two students wow. in their 70s. I bet they can skate better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
in the 80s, there was a transformation, which then, that's when it, it got the way it looks now, with the ah, purple and all the colors yeah. and the vibrant, the mirrors, yes. uh, all of the, and then it's just been evolving slowly. We okay. keep adding lights and we, we've added a few more mirror balls. There used to only be one there. Awesome. Then I went to the three and now we've got just, uh, we just keep adding new things and Perfect. that's part of the fun of it. I used to go fast in circles right? and keep a history. Evolving here too though that remains right in San Antonio. Absolutely. So, historic place to come and it is. maybe like you said get a new generation started. That's right. <laughs> I can do this. So what can people experience here and they come out they, they can just pop in and pay to skate. There's also right. birthday parties. What else we can people birthday do Birthday parties. We have private parties. So private parties have been a great way for people to come and have the place to themselves for an hour nice. and 45 minutes. Okay. We also have public sessions and uh, we're open every day except Monday for session. And your hours? Hours, we have we have a range of hours. Okay. Tuesday is our bargain day. That's gonna be from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Okay. And that's $3 admission, $4 skate rental. So you could skate for 12 hours for $7. What? So okay, that's awesome. probably one of the best values. We've, yes. Um, from there, we've got our adult night on Wednesday night. That's from 7.30 to 10.30. That's mm -hmm. for the grown folks. Mm -hmm. We come out and uh, we skate, we roll, we dance. And yes. uh, it's a lot of fun. And of course we're open during the days and Friday and Saturday night. Sunday is our family day and we're open from two to eight. Okay. And that's where you come and if you're, you pay for a child's admission, the parent gets to skate uh, free. So we have a lot of options, a lot of okay. options for a lot of different folks. Adorable. <laughs> Vincent joins yes. us now. Yes. And um, I don't know if we mentioned, I think we did there, but your grandparents and your mom, Hall of Fame, Hall of Famers. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Yeah. So, so it runs in the blood. <laughs> very, very, very cool. And you are yeah. going to be open for the 4th of, 4th of July. And once we again, are open for the 4th of July. Yes. And it's a great way to beat maybe this, the showers that are coming this weekend. It's a great place wow. to go inside oh. and uh, have some fun. All right, so shall we? We're, we're yeah. This, this is what, this is what we've been training for, <laughs> yes, for okay. the last few minutes. I'm okay. You're so good. You need to go around me. But yeah, it's no, people. Good. See, I did this back in the day. Like yeah. You're doing great. See, so Piano's like, got it down. You're like roller skating roadkill right now. I just went. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. You're doing great. <laughs> You're doing fantastic. <laughs> To be, to be fair, this is really a hard surface to skate on. It is. On. It is. So you, you get that. <laughs> you guys going to keep going now. Tell us. Oh, okay. uh, there's a certain day that you can also get a discount on. Uh, That's right. We have Bargain Tuesday, so it's $3 admission, and we're open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., so you get 12 hours of skating for $3. Look at Fiona. Look at Fiona. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Thank you so much, Mr. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me. Hi, I'm Adina Anderson, and I'm here to get your DIY 4th of July party going. We've got candy and cocktails and fun games. Let's get this party going. <laughs> but first, make your meal the star of your 4th of July weekend. A local pit master is here with tips to take your backyard barbecue to the next level. Get ready. It's on SA Live. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. He's been barbecuing in his backyard for decades, and now he's sharing what he's learned over the years on social media. He's all about helping people step up their grilling game. Yes, oh, it smells so amazing <laughs> in this studio. Uh, not because of cologne or perfume. Roger Hernandez from Cooking with the Tall Boys here to help you take your barbecue to the next level. Welcome, welcome. welcome. Thank you, thank you. Okay, it all starts with the cut, okay? And you like Wagyu beef. For those who don't know, what exactly is it? So Wagyu that makes is it a, so amazing. So what Wagyu is, is it's a, it's a breed of Japanese cattle that was bred with American cattle. So you're still gonna get the, you're gonna get the marbling of the steak and also the, 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 the beef flavor. Mm -hmm and the boldness of American beef. Mm -hmm. um, and you can tell, uh, look, look, at, look at the marbling of the steak. I mm -hmm. mean, it's perfectly marbled, so when you cook it, yes. that, that marbling is gonna melt into, it's gonna render into the steak. You're gonna get uh, the bold flavor of beef, the juiciness of the fat, and the tenderness. Okay. So all those flavors. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna start seasoning it yes. here. What am I using? So you're gonna use uh, Fiesta's uh, Uncle Chris 
gourmet steak seasoning. Okay. So you season to flavor. Um, it's how much seasoning you like to put on your own steak. Okay. So you're gonna season the front and back and also the sides of the steak as well. And how far in advance do you season when you make steak? When like I when I make a steak, I like to season uh, 24, 24 hours with 24 hours in advance. Okay. Yes, so I call that a dry brine. Yes, let yes. it soak up. Okay, now what what is it that they feed the, the cows that make this beef so? So they're usually grass fed. They also give them beer as well. And believe beer. it or not. Wait, so wait, wait, wait. Beer. Grass fed, <laughs> beer drinking, low stress. Low stress. Did they, massage them too. they, Did they massage. go to college in Berkeley? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had their lifestyle. <laughs> Okay. But there's something about that, obviously, that makes it taste yes. amazing. Woo! Look at that. So you're gonna mm. see, you're gonna you're gonna cook this um, hot and fast. So okay. you're gonna basically uh, cook five minutes on each side, Is and that then correct? you're gonna yes, you're okay. doing good. Five minutes and on each side. Now, if you're cooking it outside, how what would be the difference? It's gonna be the the, dif the difference is you're gonna cook on, on live coals, so it's gonna be hotter, so it's gonna quick uh, it's gonna cook quicker. Ah, um, got it. So five minutes on each side, and then you're gonna turn it. Um, on the edges and so that way you can actually cook around the edges and also the fat cap that's sitting on on the outside okay so fiona's gonna I'm watch gonna this go but for a little bit this okay. beauty over here you brought some brisket tell us about this so this wow. is also a wagyu brisket as well this was a uh, smoked oh. uh, 14 hours with black oak wood oh my goodness um, as you can this. tell how juicy it is i see that Oh my <laughs> gosh, look at that. I tell you what, you told me earlier that once you go Wagyu, right? Like that's, that you can't go back to that's, regular beef? Is it just the flavoring and the... The flavoring, the, uh, the tenderness of, of the Wagyu, um, once it hits your palate, you're, you're gonna see how amazing it is. And so if, what, what folks need to remember the most is, is take the temperature, right? Yes. Okay, that's incredibly important. So when I, when I smoke the brisket, what I do is um, I'll put it in um, with the, the, the barbecue pit at 250 degrees. I'll start smoking it about four to five hours. I'll go out, check the internal temperature with the thermometer. It'll be about 165 to 175. I'll pull it out, I'll wrap it with either pink butcher paper or aluminum foil. Um, at that point, I'll place it back into the, uh, to the pit and finish it out. Um, I'll re about five or six hours later, I'll recheck the temperature. Once it's 205, I'll pull it out and I'll let it sit in an ice chest resting for at least a minimum of hour and a half to four hours. Minimum rest wow. for an hour and a half to four hours yes. in an ice chest. Yes. Okay. And these, these are tips that people can learn from you on your YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. And your yes. social media platforms. And these are the kind of things that you share because you just love this, don't yes, you? Yes, that's <laughs> correct. Um, Y'all can, uh, you know, check me out on YouTube and Instagram with, at Cooking with the Tall Boy. All right. I think we're, can we have a piece? Yeah, yes. let's try a piece, okay? And how's your shake, Fiona? Oh my God, well, it's still, it's still cooking. Okay. I mean, I'll turn it over, but I know it's probably gotta go just oh my gosh, a it's little beautiful. bit longer. Beautiful, and so the best tip you were saying yeah. is to use that thermometer, and yes. we are gonna take a bite of this. For more on the tall boy, just head over to salive.com. And click on, yes, the I'm passing. sorry, my mouth water. I say live tap. Enjoy it, Jen. Enjoy it. Okay? Okay. I will. You can read. Oh, my God. All right. Fill a hat on SA Live. While you're grilling, let the kids play. We've got a great collection of DIY projects from Adina Anderson. decorations to celebrate your 4th of July, you'd be surprised at what you can create with things you can find around your house. And that's the best part. Yes. Lifestyle expert Adina Anderson joins us with some DIY treats and snacks for your red, white, and blue party, and even some fun glasses. And those are the cutest glasses. I love it. <laughs> Happy 4th of July weekend! Happy 4th of July, yes! Okay, and so selfies are a big part of every party, right? Yes, and this is so simple. You can make this whole little selfie background for under $10, or you could even use it just for a decorating banner at your party. And mm -hmm. Jen, you have the dowel rod there. Yes. I got all of this at the craft okay. store. And these are just big felt sheets. You buy them, I think they're three by three for like three bucks. And so you get three of those, red, white, and blue, cut them into strips, which that's the thing that takes the longest. <laughs> The cutting. Well, and then have, like some older kids, this is yes. where you can put them to work doing, That's right? That's exactly <laughs> it, yes. yes. And then just take hot glue. Now use my Band-Aid tip, mm -hmm. put the Band-Aids on your finger. Sorry, Jen, I forgot to bring them for you. Okay, but your fine. hot glue gun's right over there. 
And then just put a little bit of hot glue right there and wrap it around, stick it, and that's it. And you just put about 50 of them on there, however long your dowel rod is. Okay, and then you kind of have an instant 4th of July yes. selfie background. Okay. Very simple and easy. There, right? yes. Should we try to take one real yes. quick? I think so. Okay. With the glasses. We have the glasses. Here you go. Thank you. All right, we're setting up. And here we go. One, two, three. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. All right. What's next? So the next we have our s'mores bar and candy bar. These are this is really simple. And I brought you the really yummy marshmallows. They're chocolate filled marshmallows. I chocolate saw a commercial. I know. What is going on here? How Look at this. I didn't know these existed, Talk but about, now that I do, right? Now I don't know what happens when complete. you roast them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that. I just stuck them on a dowel rod with a piece of styrofoam. I decorated the little <laughs> uh, wood thing there with the deco art acrylic paint. And then for the candies, I just put those in mason jars. I happen to have mason jars in my house all the time. But if you don't have them, just head to the dollar store or the craft store. They have them. And then you got your graham crackers and your Twizzlers and, of course, the M&Ms or the W's, whatever you want to <laughs> Are they good? Right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> <Let's try. laughs> Yummy. Okay. <laughs> and no party is complete without a fun party game, right? Mm -hmm. So this is really mm -hmm. simple. These are just wood letters that I picked up at the craft store. And I used just the masking tape, put that on there and the stripes. You could do stars, however you want to do it. And then use your deco art acrylic paint, which works, which, ah, works perfect on these because it's kind of a glossy finish on there. Put two coats, let it dry 10 minutes in between. And that's it. It's and simple. You just peel these. The kids, is, this is nothing mm -hmm. the kids could do for you too. And then this is just ribbon that I put down to put the X's and O's and play tic-tac-toe. <laughs> I love that. You know, I feel like there are not a lot of options right now at the stores. So yes. to do it yourself like this and then get the kids involved, keep them busy. Yes, right? exactly. And speaking of options, we forgot for our candy bar. Yes. I could not find the white chocolate pretzels. Uh -huh. So just get your candy melts. You can melt them in the microwave or in the melting pot and just dip your pretzels. Make your own. You don't have to spend a fortune and you don't have to always buy what the store has. You can always do your own kind of thing there. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have to have our cocktail for our party yes <laughs> and this is oh my gosh these are sh they're called chalane fresh cherries they showed up at my door the other day and with a whole bunch of them and i'm like how am i going to pit these i got this on amazon this is the coolest thing it oh pits the gosh, cherries for, for you, for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. So you just put four cherries at the bottom, add your, your Rebecca Creek, your Texas Ranger whiskey. We're just going to put a shot of that in there because this is, oh, cherries and whiskey is so good. Yes. Now you can just add some sparkling water, add a lime, and then a little bit of um, simple syrup is, is a must because you want to have a little bit of that sweetness in there. And then just add um, some lemon juice and some lime juice, and it's the perfect Summer refreshing cocktail. cocktail. Yes. yes. Cheers. <laughs> uh, what is it, Cascade? The oh, my God, me too, right? Because there's yes. no sugar. Zero yes. <laughs> oh, and, and that is beautiful, oh, too. Now, that's on the blog. Yeah, that's, so that's a whiskey. This is how Grandma makes her cherries. This is a whiskey-infused cherry. Ooh. Let it set overnight in the mason jar with some whiskey, and that's just a cheesecake. Omit the whiskey cherry if the kids are going to eat it. Right. Of course. But the whiskey is also cooked in the cherry sauce, so it'll cook off Get the alcohol, out but it's so yummy. Amazing! <laughs> well, you can go online to see all of these ideas, and your blog has so many different things to do. <laughs> That's what I love about it. So just head over to essaylive.com and click the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Thank you so much, Adina. Thank you. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th, Happy 4th of July. Still ahead on the show, well, it's a fun way to get fit, where you and the whole family can dance, sweat, and have a great time. And then, plus toys, 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 lots of summer fun in the backyard, maybe. We have Learning Express here, and our photographer, <laughs> our photographer, make it wet. <laughs> volunteered to be the SA Life crew member who gets drenched during this incredible toy segment Sorry. with Tim Hicks, owner of Learning Express Toys and Gifts. And Dusty, are you okay? You good? I hit him He's good. Stomach. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Dusty is fine and has not been harmed oh, just Tim. yet. Thank you so much, fun whenever you're here. Anytime. All these Love it. Yeah. Toy options. This is a seasonal thing. I didn't even know you had these. This is awesome. You bet. I mean, these the big inflatables yes. for the pool, the sprinkler for your backyard. Wait, wait, wait. Sprinkler. It's okay. a sprinkler. Here, Here it goes. Go, Look at that. Yay. This is the ultimate sprinkler. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, you don't need to run out to the street. Just pull, yeah. hook it up in your backyard. No pool, right no there. problem, right? That's it. I love that. <laughs> that so. uh, and then also, we have the oh, super yeah. soaker. And then the right? super soaker, okay. obviously. I know that. <laughs> oh. 
And this, I see, is very easy. <laughs> it's easy to use. Look it. at this. <laughs> oh, so nasty. Dusty did bring a change of clothes. I feel like he's got goggles. He oh, he's got goggles. And you have goggles also, right, Samick? We have goggles, okay. all sorts, boys and girls. You name it, snorkels, uh, anything yes, for all the anything pool toys. For the pool. And those <laughs> are really cool too because, I mean, if you're, that's what you want to do right now. It's so hot. <laughs> it's so hot. You know, you're, everybody's going to be barbecuing in the backyard. Yes. Let's give something the, the kids can entertain themselves with. Get wet, stay <laughs> cool. Does it at least feel good, Dusty? It's nice oh, and cool, right? Okay, Perfect. good. Good, like good, good. You bet. <laughs> Such a great sport. All right. So what other like, so pool So speaking of the toys? outdoor, the back backyard pool toys, we got anything from, you know, footballs. All these are water bounce balls, great for the pool. Love this little guy. It's a little basketball yeah. slash target game for the pool as I well. Love that. All the inflatables are fantastic. Yes. Those are just love these things. And then for the critters in the yard, the kids. You're still like. outside. Well look you know we love the outdoors. Yes. Yeah, we kind of live outside right now. So if you're you know want to catch the bugs, you got a bug vacuum, grow your own terrarium, cool. all the plants there, uh, critter houses. And I love these little gardening kits. So that's everything comes included. Your first garden, tomatoes, marigolds and a little vacuum. Oh, this? Absolutely. Oh, so if so you don't want to grab there by your hand, you got the vacuum, just pick the bugs right up. Look that at that! Really yeah. Yes, my kids are always looking for bugs in the backyard. And then, yeah, you can grow your own. And all the plants and there as well. these are super popular. The, the poppers, are, oh poppets are still just fantastic. We yeah, have look, I can't stop. <laughs> new styles coming in every day. Right. Not these are so trending right now, right? What is it about them? Huge. <laughs> it's just, you know, <laughs> just that uh, century kind of thing. Yeah. You just kind of keep you busy. All those fidgety, Things, absolutely. <laughs> hey, and now, this too, right? Yes, what is and this? And then the spike ball, it's another great outdoor game. Think volleyball, but it's a trampoline net for the ball. So it plays just like volleyball. When you start, when it's your time to hit the ball into the net, into the net, bounce it off, and the next team goes. All right, can we talk about the water balloon thingamajiggy? Did we, These did we show so how to do that? These are so much fun, okay. absolutely. So they come in that pack that you this see right there. This is your right pack there. of a bunch of balloons. How many? 100 balloons. 100 balloons in 60 seconds. So you just, you just attach, attach the hose. Attach this thing right to the hose. All these fill up, they pop off, and you're ready to go. And you remember Fiona as kids. Oh my gosh, you had to do them one by one. one. Each one was one precious. Up. You had to make every shot count, but ready? not now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Dusty's ready. I love it. <laughs> and you also have a game that you're working so on So this is pretty special. We had a, a gentleman came in the store uh, last summer. He's an engineer here in town. He's an engineer uh, at KCI for many years. Retired from that, was a professor at San Antonio College. His kids had a hard time visualizing things in three dimensions. So he came out with some great tools, learning aids, and games. And so this, think of uh, chess, but on a three-dimensional plane. Perfect. So chess and checkers all in that. So we're gonna have a special event at the store okay. next Saturday from 12 to three. We're gonna be demoing these new, new toys Direct from San Antonio. All right. Well, again, SALive.com for more. Um, go visit them, Learning Express in the Cory area. Thank you so much. You bet. Thank you. Great Tell to be I here. Head on SA Live. A passion for pizza. This hidden gem is serving lots and and with made with love, guys. You got to check this out. David Elder has more. And next, let your inner dance diva be free, where you can bust a move and get fit. Don't go anywhere. You're watching SA Live. <laughs>
and it just feels like they're going to a party. So they call it join the party. And so it feels like uh, we give you a little Vegas feeling here with the lights and we just have, we just dance and have a great time. Speaking of Vegas, you've got a heel class. Tell us what that is. Um, it's called Vegas Stiletto Fitness. And what we do is we teach women of all shapes, ages, and dance abilities how to feel like a inner show, bring out their inner show girl um, by teaching them fun, sexy dance moves with a cheer. On um, some more classes for the adults are some hip hop classes, right? Yes, we have hip hop cardio. Uh, we have the mix fit. And again, it's also a follow along. Very simple is for all dance abilities. Anybody can do it. Thank you. And yeah. Yes. <laughs> right, so I'm, I'm glad to hear that, okay? And you have something for the kids. Yeah, so the kids, we have tiny ballerinas uh, for all the, from three years old all the way to six year olds. We have tiny hip hop classes, little hip hop classes. We have K-pop, we have teen classes. We even have hip hop crew here. We have a K-pop cosmic uh, teen group here. So we have all kinds of fun classes for all ages. And parents, if you don't know what K-pop is, you know, that'll make you cool, right? When yeah, <laughs> Korean hip hop. <laughs> Korean hip -hop. Okay. Tell folks how to find you. Uh, you can go to smashdance.net. We're located here in Leon Valley on Bandera. Okay, and besides cardio, I mean, this is a great way to work off some calories. Tell us about the benefits. Um, yeah, definitely self-confidence, um, yeah, weight loss, um, just feeling good about yourself. We're very, we consider ourselves a very non-intimidating studio. Um, it's for everybody. Uh, we're very community-based, so we also do a lot here for our community as well. All right. Mm -hmm. And tell folks how to find you online. Smashdance.net or on social media, Smash Dance Fitness on Instagram and Smash Dance Project on Facebook. All right. So are you ready to try some of these classes? I am. I started stretching. <laughs> Okay. That's where it starts, right? Yes, exactly, okay. exactly. All right. We're gonna, what am I going to start? We're going to do a little bit of K-pop. We're going to do a little bit of hip-hop cardio. We're going to do a little bit of Zumba. You're going to get a taste of a little bit of everything we do here. All right, I'm ready. We've got a preview of Texas Eats right now in the new season, which of course you can catch in prime time tonight at 7 p.m. right here on KSAT 12. Yes, our mm -hmm. favorite foodie, David Elder, has found new spots around San Antonio and South Texas. And of course, he always makes us hungry. Right now, we go on a short drive for a hidden gem that's serving up delicious pizza. Take a look. Now we're in Hondo, Texas to check out a pizza spot that's making some incredible za. Let's go inside Hondo Pizza Company. Joining me now is Justin Myers. He's the co-owner out here, and I'm super excited because you guys got all different kinds of pizzas and sandwiches and calzones on the menu, but what got you started in pizzas? Food has always been a passion of mine. I mean, clearly, the, uh, it's something that has been part of my life. I, there was nothing else that I could cook with the passion that I could cook pizza with. It was, I was drawn to it. You know, years later, we're still doing it. We're just rolling it out. This one's special because it's got a little kick to it, right? So talk to me about this pizza here. It does. We lovingly call this the Angry. So the Angry sauce is our Serrano-infused sauce. We call it the Angry because sometimes it's only a little angry. Sometimes it's very angry. It all depends on the day, right? It depends on the day <laughs> and depends on how angry I was when I made it. There you That's, go. Yeah. The angry, we'll, we'll give it a try. Mm -hmm. A little bit, a little, little, little. That's really nice though. It works. Nice and spicy. I love the dough, good body to it. Thank you. It's an, it's an appropriate amount of spice. It's not over the top and I like that. Yeah, it's not a tough guy challenge by any stretch, David. Wow. 
I had to go in for two bites. That's good. Great job, man. Hmm. Yeah. The calzone. Sure. Sometimes people make fun of it. They're like, just get a pizza. Yeah. I like a good calzone, though. Right. You know? So we'll put whatever you want in it. Oh, but, it. but today, I made you my favorite. Uh, we got meatball, we've got uh, red onion, we got pepperoni, uh, we got black olive, and we had a, a ricotta garlic sauce that we made. The secret, too, is we finish it off with Sicilian oregano. Don't be oh. fooled by other oreganos, dude. <laughs> right. I'm going in for the real thing. Look at that bite. That's a bite. Zone is loaded out here. You can put whatever you want inside and it's huge. So you have enough for lunch and for dinner. So this is the focaccia bread we make here. And that's also, we get the brisket made right down the street at the maze, the corn maze. That's so cool. Yeah, they make our brisket year round uh, over there, the Graf 7A. This is the brisket grilled cheese going in for the bite. That's a phenomenal bite. Thank you. Thank you. I love that. It's homemade focaccia bread. So you load that up, you put some jalapenos on there, you put some more flavor on it, you take a bite out of it, it's over the top. You're gonna need at least five napkins to finish this thing. The focaccia bread is outstanding. Do you ever just eat that by itself? All the time. All the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 100%. I swore I would never have a chocolate pizza on my menu. <laughs> you have the Hershey's chocolate. You've got, you have to go with the Jiffy Puff mar marshmallows. Okay. No substitutions. Right. And then graham crackers, and you're good to go. All right, so grab a slice with me here. Yeah. Oh, no. It's getting stuck to my mouth. That's how you know it's real. All right, well, don't forget to catch a brand new season of Texas Eats with a special episode tonight at 7 p.m. right here on KSAT 12. And then the journey continues with another full hour of Texas Eats tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. right here on KSAT 12. All right, Monday on SA Live. Things you can do this summer with the family. It's an encore presentation of our summer fun special in prime time. Wakeboarding, hockey, mini golf, Texas tripping, and more Monday at 1 p.m. on SA Live. Stay with us. Your answers to our question of the day next. Burgers or hot dogs? Victor says hot dogs. Yes, especially if all the fixing are there. I agree, mm -hmm. Victor. Mm -hmm. All Delicious. right. Delicious. All oh, right. Shit. Your camera, your camera. It's a very Happy special birthday. day. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Fiona. Happy birthday. Oh, you Something guys. crazy happens. Birthday <laughs> grief. So, and a drink. Happy oh. birthday to our lovely Fiona. And let's take a look at, we've got something special for you. <laughs> yes. Sea salt chocolate caramel. Yes. <laughs> thank All you. right. Well, thank you, Fiona. Well, hello. And here we go. Dashing through the snow. Ain't no valley low enough. You don't want to see this. You 